Hi, it's the Iron Kiwi here, and today I'm building another rocket stove. This is a much larger one. This one was made of 3x3 square tubing. This one is 4x4, 125 wall HSS. This one's going to be an auto feeder, so I'll just cut to the chase. I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of prep stuff in that. I'm assuming you're probably a welder, so you're here to see how I do this part right here. And as you can see, whoop! As you can see, I'm doing cutouts here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got it marked. I'm going to cut that piece out, cut the other piece out, and then I double 45 this, mitered it. This goes right on there. You put your wood in there, and you're good to go. So, I'm also putting a mesh piece in there, which I'll show you in a moment. So now I've got these pieces prepped, cut out the notches in them. Um, so, this is going to be the feeder. It's going to sit like this. You'll be able to feed your wood right in there. And there's that mesh to stop all the coal from piling up in here and blocking the airflow. So you'll always have that airflow coming up. Um, you'll have a pile of coals here and a little bit on this mesh. But overall, this keeps it open and you'll just have air coming in here. Put your wood through this way and you'll have your heat coming up here. So we'll just weld that in. So it's tacked here, gives you an idea of how it's going to work. Wood goes down there. Pretty good size. It's 18 inches tall. This part's 12 inches from tip to there. This is 10 inches from there to there, which makes it fairly flush with the front. And you could probably cut that and round it off a little bit so that this top part's gone and then you just have a nice little feeder but it's almost done. Just weld it up now. And so here it is, the finished product. Um, so as you can see, I, I added a handle. It's just three quarter inch square tubing, cut to an angle and welded on there. So you can pick this beast up, it's super heavy. Probably weighs about 15 pounds, I guess. Um, cut some legs out of inch and a half square tubing. This is basically just so it sits up off the ground and you're not like burning the ground underneath when it gets hot in here. And then this part, the grill, it's actually pretty simple. It's just some pieces of flat bar. What I've done is I've cut three notches like that on the same side on that one. And then three notches on this one with the middle one on the top. So then you quite literally just sit that one on there, corner to corner. That's not going on. Oh, maybe, maybe I gotta go this way. Okay, yeah, sit that on there. Once you sit the other one on there, it stabilizes. And you have your, your grill top. You can throw a pot on there. This is nice and big, actually. This is 10 inches wide, so you could put a big pot on top, cook whatever you want, um, or a pan or whatever. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, really simple design, easy to make. Uh, as long as you can weld, you can do this. Um, these are kind of ugly welds on the outside, but I'm going to paint it with high heat paint anyways, so um, overall, pretty happy with it. I'm sure the customer will be happy with it too. Um, thanks very much for watching, and uh, please subscribe. I'll be making more videos soon.